Hello, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit more about the Diels-Alder reaction, uh, particularly the scope of the reaction uh, in reference to the dienophile. So as a quick reminder, the, the Diels-Alder reaction is a reaction between a diene and a dienophile, and I'm drawing here just the simplest examples of them. And they react together to make a cyclohexene molecule, and I'm going to go ahead and draw in the, the mechanism for this reaction. It's all, it never hurts to show the mechanism a couple of times. And as I shared at the introductory react video on this reaction, uh, clockwise or counterclockwise, uh, the, the direction of the arrows doesn't matter here. And just for, for reminders, this for, uh, first piece is a diene, and it's this second alkene that's the dienophile. Um, it's actually worth noting that for this, right, at this, this particular prototypical case, there's only 20% conversion at 200 degrees Celsius. Um, the, this combination behaves itself, but it's not really the best combination. So the best electro or the best dienophiles have an electron withdrawing group. I almost said electrophile because electron withdrawing groups also make good electrophiles. But uh, the best dienophiles have electron withdrawing groups on them. And so what are our uh, electron withdrawing groups? No, they are ketones and. Aldehydes. Goodness. Come on, I want the double bond. There we go. Sorry about all that. They are esters. They are carboxylic acids. They are nitriles, uh, the nitrile functional group. Now I'm going to draw in the, uh, the nitrile group here. And they are nitriles. Uh, and there are others, but these are, are some of the ones that you might see. And so taking our simplest of, of all dienes and reacting them with, say, uh, the aldehyde, This reaction generates now uh, a product, and the reaction occurs uh, at lower temperatures and in a much higher yield. So, so lower temperatures means that the reaction is actually faster. Nope. Oh. Okay, hundred percent at lower temper. So here we have uh, you know, here here is you know electron withdrawing groups really uh, help out the dienophile. I really want I wanted to spend just a little bit of time uh, talking about you know some other kinds of dienophiles, uh, particularly dienophiles can exist as part of cyclic systems. Um, and so this reaction could generate uh, a bicyclic molecule with a cyclic dienophile. And since my dienophile has a six-membered ring and my diene uh, reacts to form another six-membered ring, we actually get a molecule with two six-membered rings on it. Uh, and I feel compelled here to draw some arrows to help illustrate what's going on. Uh, there we go. All right. And so the dienophile is supplying the extra four carbon atoms to make the new ring. The original ring is still there. And uh, 
these four carbon atoms here come from the dienophile. And if you're looking at these two examples, you might see that we are generating new chirality centers in these products now that the dienophile has some substituents on it. You write about that. And um, that's what the next video is going to be about, uh, the stereochemical outcome of these reactions. Uh, so thanks for watching.